Hello everybody and welcome to my new video. In this one I want to showcase you why the support robots are back in the game. But before we start, it would be great, please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you want to support my channel, then you can go to the Vorobots web shop. And if you buy something there, you can enter my code HealthFreddyM and then I will get something back for our DGEM tournaments. A huge thank you and a big shout out to Black Knight, Shadowpult44, Maximum Ownage and DevKit here for did this in the last time. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's go into the game. We have here the ultimate mana. You all know that I really love to play support robots. The Demeter, the Nodens was my uh, favorite titan one day. And uh, then there was a thing, uh, the rust weapons. And um, yeah, with this, uh, it was tricky to play support robots because you can't heal your teammates, you can't heal yourself in a good way. But a nice thing happened here, the rebalance of all those weapons and the robots. And in this case, I decided, okay, let's try out here my beautiful ultimate mana in combination with the new weapons and a rebalanced weapon uh, to light weapons and a medium version you know and um, my setup i want to showcase you um, after the gameplay here in the future i really want to bring back the nodens to support my teammates in this way and i want to showcase you can you play the nodens uh, these days or is it still not so helpful uh, yeah for the game okay um yeah we start here for a good round. The enemy team is very strong. As you can see, they play in a very good way um, and they push a lot. They have now all the beacons here and I wanted to uh, yeah, play this one here, this uh, manner as a beacon capture robot supporter and damage doer because the new weapons are made for doing damage and help your teammates. As you saw in the intro, you can <laughs> yeah, get Titans with this setup here down too. So, yeah, look at my um, HP. We have here 400,000 HP. Another great thing for the mana is that uh, the high of this robot isn't so, uh, yeah, big. So this is a reason why we can yeah get those Lokis easily down. In this game, we had a lot of stealth robots like the Loki and um, yeah another point why the mana is uh, great uh, you can get those robots then easily down and um, yeah look at the healing um, there was this guy here we have one who pushed us away and now let's try to get him down here ice rockets then we have another stealth robot and we can do damage because our high and yeah one more time we can heal ourselves in a good way and go forward and uh, yeah, support our teammates with yeah the damage here. I wanted to go backwards here, uh, but uh, yeah, we don't need to because my teammate helped me here in such a good way. Okay, so let's go forward and oh no, we have to go backwards here because uh, when you shoot this guy here, now we will take some damage. My teammate do this here. Uh, yeah, okay. He was binded, but I heal myself, so I didn't take any kind of damage. So the first Titan is out here with um, the beautiful bandy weapons. And let's see what we can do. Can we hold the beacon here? And another Titan popped up here, the ultimate or not the scavenger Heimdall here. Um, yeah, this one um, is a great one too, a great supporter um, damage doer because of four uh, yeah, weapons. Um, with a good damage output but at all um let's see if we can get this guy down um with our uh mender here 50 percent of his hp now 25 percent and yeah with my teammates let's get him down boom the first titan slayer here with this build what is totally crazy in my mind then we have here this yeah beautiful titan the Eiffel is in the air, he is landing now and I want to capture this beacon here one more time, like I said, um, and help my teammates to yeah, heal them in a good way. Okay, he's aiming for me and here is another stealth robot. I will wait here, okay, I will get damage now. Let's wait till my mothership uh, yeah, shield is gone. And then I can press my ability button. And as you can see, we have all the HP uh, nearly back here. 
Now I will try to help my uh, teammate here with its Titan to um, heal him a little bit. And look at the status bar of the Titan here at all. Um, the healing isn't so overpowered at all, but we can help a little bit as you can see now here uh, for this Titan. It looks like um, that we don't even uh, bring him HP back, but now, uh, yeah, you can see this a little bit and he is going um, to a decent level. Okay, another Titan here um, and we got another Titan Slayer with my teammate. Again, as you look at the status bar, tricky game. Um, the enemy team is still strong and we only have two beacons and only 4 minutes and 30 seconds left to win the game. Uh, maybe we can change this, or well, maybe not. Let me know what you think. Can we do this or not? <laughs> okay, so I use here the beautiful uh, Pascal drone for this setup. I think um, other drones like the Amatillo, Seeker or Shy drone will work um, the same, will work good for this setup. But Pascal sometimes very helpful uh, when you take a lot of damage because of the healing effect and the damage output is uh, pimped up in a good way too. Shy drone, um, you get a lot of defense then um, if you uh, yeah, destroy some robots or doing damage for uh, to the robots. Again, we are going here against a stealth robot. Look at this. That is so crazy. And we got him down one more time. He have to go out of its ability and then it's much easier to get him down. I really like this ability here, this secret ability <laughs> in my mind uh, of the Manda. Okay, let's go forward. Here is again another Titan, the beautiful Luchador. And uh, let's see if we can um, help our teammates one more time. Uh, let's try to, yeah do some damage and heal those bodies here. Three beacons and still it will be a tricky job here to win the game. Um, so I decided one more time, okay, let's try to capture this beacon here. My teammate with the Titan played very well here. And uh, yeah, let's go for it and let's have some fun. And let's get the fourth beacon here. But uh, a shout out, a big shout out to my, uh, yeah, to the enemy team because they played here in this case so, so well and uh, so strong um, against us uh, at the first minutes. And um, yeah, in this case here, I thought, okay, uh, we don't even have a chance here to win because um, enemy team is still capturing beacons and we don't even have a lot of time. Again, they will capture the beacon on this side and on this side. And again, we only have three beacons um, and a little status bar. Um, then I decided, okay, this was maybe a bad thing of the uh, yeah, enemy pilot or enemy player because he's going out of its ability with this Gyros. His job maybe would be better only for rolling and uh, capturing the beacons. And this was maybe the reason why we will win here now the game because four beacons and there's only one robot left. That means for us that we can capture the last beacon and um, yeah, two minutes left and hopefully we can beat the enemy then. But it seems like in this case, the enemy team is bought out here and we won the game in this way. So um, yeah, let me know what you think about those support robots here now. Do you like it or do you don't like it? Um, do you want to play support robots too? Like I said, I will go for the Nodens and the Demeter in the next time too and try it out for you. Thank you so much for watching my video here. And for my ultimate madness setup here, Sport Hauler, Cryptic Hazard in combination with the Nuclear Amplifier and the Repair Amplifier two times with Phase Shift works very well and Marie Leclerc because of the ability. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. We will see us hopefully soon. Aloha! I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight Now I'm losing sleep